is the light of the world. Amen. Amen. He's the light. He's the one that we need to focus our attention on and get it off stuff and get it off other people. Amen. 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 And I'm glad about that. There is a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. We read the text of scripture in Colossians 4 and 17. Just want to read it in your hearing one more time. And this is the Apostle Paul talking to the church, to the people at Colossia. Uh, this is, listen to what he said here. And, and he's talking to a chippus. Amen, somebody. We're going to give you a little take on who a chippus was and who he wasn't. Amen. And listen to what he said. Paul said, he wrote, look what he wrote to a chippus. He said, and, and say to a chippus, take heed to the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord that thou fulfill it. And I want to talk with you this morning for a few minutes on how to live life to its fullest. Amen. How to live life to its fullest. Amen? Amen? Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we're so grateful now. Thank you for this moment in time, this opportunity, oh God, to share a word with these your people, oh God. You want us to be encouraged on how we can can live life to the fullest, oh God. Yes, yes, yes. And, and outside of you, God, it's not possible. But with you, all things are possible. Yes, and we're grateful for that. Yes, thank, you. thank you for sending your son down through 40 and two generation. Yes, and Jesus is the light. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Without him, there's nothing but darkness yes. in a dying world. And we thank you for that. Holy Spirit, have your way in this place today. Move up and down the aisles, heal, deliver, and set free. Hide me now behind thy cross, that they may see Jesus and glorify you, O God, who sits in heaven. Continue to bless us as only you can. We love you, we adore you, and we magnify your holy and righteous name. In Jesus' name, amen. A very familiar or unfamiliar text of scripture for a lot of people, but God wants us to know how to live life to its fullest. Yes. And Paul, he reminds Archippus, and he reminds us that we need to see to it that we complete the ministry you have received in the Lord. Yes. Uh, I, I'm, I'm talking to me today because I can recall 10 years ago, uh, even before then, God had called us out and we were hard-headed and, and being a little disobedient and trying to help other folk when we were hurting even ourselves, even hurting you when the more I think about it. Amen, somebody, because had not God did what he's did, done and still doing, amen, we wouldn't even be here. Amen, somebody. Amen. Doors wouldn't have been opened up to me. Uh, oh, y'all got to feel my heartbeat today. Uh, 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 you, 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 Brother Carl, you might not gotten healed, and, and you might not got the job that you needed, and you might not been the deacon chairman nowhere, and God getting ready to bless you in another area on your job. Had we not been obedient Amen. to the ministry that God has given us. Can, can y'all understand what I'm saying here? Amen. It has long-term effects. It's not just about me. It's about you. It's about God's people. Amen. Can I get a witness here? You, you, you and you might not have been baptized. You wouldn't have been ushering probably nowhere. I don't know what God planned would have been. But I know one thing. He brought you by this way. Amen. And had we not done what God <laughs> called us to do. Can I get a witness here? You and you might not even be married. Can I get a witness here? Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You wouldn't have been no mother. They're probably not here, not here at this church. Yeah, can I get a witness here? Y'all, do you understand what I'm trying to say this, this morning? Jesus, Jesus is the light. Uh, so, so this morning at Greater Works Baptist Church, I want us to, I want us to gather to understand that, that this light that, that he's, he's illuminated here, amen, it has long-term effects, my brothers and sisters. You ain't seen nothing yet. 
Can I, can I get a witness here? You wouldn't be realizing the blessings that you're realizing. Now, had I been hard-headed and not done what God called us to do. Living life to the fullest every day. You know, sometimes people question, is it possible? Living life to the fullest. Is it just a... A, a piece of pie in the sky that people hope for, or is it possible? Well, my brothers and sisters, the Apostle Paul, he thought it was. Amen. He thought it's a possibility, and that is the reason he wrote right here in Colossians chapter 4, mm -hmm. verse 17. Look what he said. Uh-huh. And he said to our chippers, and he's saying to us too, Take heed to the ministry which you have received in the Lord that you may fulfill it. Amen. In other words, you, 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 you got to see to it that you get it done. Amen. Get it done, baby. Amen. Get it done, Burton. Can I get a witness here? Get, get it done, members. Hey, what God has called you to do, you better get it done. Amen. Can I get a witness here? It's, it's not a choice that you need to tarry with. And play with. Can I get a witness here? Amen. He told our chippers. And he's reminding us to take heed. To the ministry which thou has received in the Lord. And that you fulfill it. Amen. <laughs> you know. Sometimes we think God has a sense of humor. And he just let us get away with anything. But this one thing he ain't going to let you get away with. Yeah, you, you can root and poop, but you're going to get it done. Can I get a witness here? And if you don't, you're going to wish you had a. We, we, we're not given much information about our chippers here. I, I, I want to tell you that. Uh, therefore, we, we really don't know who this person really is. He's, this is the first time he's ever even mentioned in the Bible anywhere. I, I did some searching and couldn't find his name anywhere else. We don't know uh, uh, what, what we do know. We know he was a member of the church at Colosseum. Can I get a witness here? Because this is where Paul was writing and this is where uh, our shepherds was. Uh, he, he was a real close friend of Falmion. Uh, we know he was a supporter and he was a champion of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He was an office holder, holder, apparently a lay leader in the church. I mean, Paul had the reason enough to mention who he was. Apparently, he was not an ordained minister as such, as we can tell by the text. He wasn't called out like Paul, Peter, and James, and John, not the apostles. He is just one of those ordinary leaders of the church, and Paul had a special message for him because apparently... He was having a little problem. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. He was having a little problem, probably enjoying life every day. Maybe he was was old whiner. I, I don't know. The text doesn't tell me. Maybe he was being slack in his prayer life. I don't know. The, the text doesn't tell us. Maybe he was failing in his ministry. Whatever he had set his hands to do, apparently it wasn't getting done. Amen, somebody. And Paul, under the authority of God, was not pleased. Amen, amen. Can I get a witness here? Amen. The Bible doesn't say, but just maybe he needed some strong encouragement amen. so he could keep the faith. Yeah. And so Paul, we know, we know Paul always rode and talked out of the love of God. Amen. amen. Not to hurt, but to encourage and help. Can I get a witness here? Uh, Paul had a special message here for our chippers on how to live life to its fullest every day. But it wasn't just a message for this one man, my brothers and sisters. Oh, no. God, God never operates that way. He, all, he has all of us in mind. Amen. He, he has all of us in mind when it comes down to his church and his ministry and his ways. Amen, somebody. Amen. He, he said in verse 17, Here's what you have got to learn to do. See to it that you have completed the work you have received in the Lord. 
<laughs> you, you, you know, I, I think about my old job at work now. You, don't you know if I didn't get my work done, my supervisor would write me up? Amen, somebody. Might take a little money out of your paycheck. <laughs> Depends on where you work. <laughs> can, I, can I get a witness here? Paul just gave, just, just wanted to give a chippers and us a little strong me. See to it that you do it. And one Bible translation says it like this. Listen to this. He said, see to it you have fulfilled the ministry you have received from the Lord. Amen. And the J.B. Phillips Bible version translates, translation says it like this. A brief message to a chippers. God ordained you to do the work. See to it that you don't fail him. <laughs> him being Jesus Christ. He, he, he wasn't talking about the pastor wasn't talking about the lay leaders and ministers he wasn't talking about the deacons he said you make sure you don't fail Jesus Christ <laughs> there's a price to pray we ain't got a heaven or hell to put you in oh but God does <laughs> can I get a witness here so, so, so don't want to live life to the fullest don't fail Jesus Christ so my brothers and sisters we need to learn to fulfill our ministry every day. Amen. Whatever God has called you to do, be like Mike. Just do it. Amen. Be like Mike. Just do it. Amen. Stop making excuses. Just do it. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Amen. Gotta be like Mike. You know, anybody got some Nikes? Yeah, you know what that check mark is? Just do it. Yeah, just do it. Whatever God called us to do, we got to do it. I, I, I think about 10 years ago, it, it makes me shudder. The more I was preparing for this message, and it makes me shudder to think if I had been obedient, disobedient, uh, uh, you wouldn't have been over there playing the keyboard. You wouldn't have been on the drum set. You wouldn't be preaching. Sheep might not be preaching. I might not be preaching. I don't know what God would have done. Just do it. Can I get a witness here? As Christians, my brothers and sisters, we must always live our present moments with an eye toward tomorrow and eternity. That, that's your destination. You're going one or two places. You, you're getting up out of here. You, you're going somewhere. You, you're not here to stay. Can I get a witness here? And I don't know about you. I couldn't go to hell if I wanted to. I'm going to heaven when he called me home. And when I stand before him, I want him to look at me and say, well done. <laughs> Burden you were hard head for a little while, but well done. Yeah, I, I didn't know if you was going to see it through, but well done. I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm in it to win it. I'm here to stay. Amen, somebody. Because he tells me where two or three are gathered together in my name. He says I'm in the midst. And I'm, I'm going to be one of them two or threes. You can I get a witness here? I'm not hung up on the masses. I could care less about a mega church. We've been a mega church ever since we had three people. Can I get a witness here? Yeah, what are, you, what are you doing with your life that God has given you? Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Uh, you? You need to answer that question yourself. Yeah. Well, if you do, you have a do-nothing spirit, can I get a witness here? Amen. Better be careful when you're hanging out with God. One of these old days, we will all stand before God and he will show us what our lives could have been had we laid aside our selfish desires and really served him. But let me tell you something, my brothers and sisters. Let me, everybody kind of raise your hand. Oh, you still alive. You still got time. Can I get a witness? As long as you got breath in your body, you got time to do the ministry that God has called you to do. Now is the time for us to, we need to wake up and get excited about the Lord's church. Get excited about God's work. And most of us really do so little for the Lord. 
do so little and he's done so much for us. I, 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 I can think back over my own life what he, where he brought me from. Every time I go up to Opelika, I pass by the little shotgun house I was brought up in, the cemetery where I used to play football. Amen, somebody, the neighborhood. I, I look back over those things and I, I can see how good he's been to me. How, how dare I not serve him these last days? I don't have much longer here. But while I'm here, I'm going to do what he called me to do. We, we too busy trying to make money, trying to prosper. And guess what? I, we, we just, we just, I went down to a funeral on, on Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday. Amen. The, the, the lady that, that, that passed was a Christian. Uh, when, I, when I looked in the, in, in the cast, all she had on was, was some clothes that they had bought and put on her. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't see no car and house laying in the casket. Because you're going to leave here just like you came. <laughs> so, so whatever you're chasing, you need to chase God first. Matthew 6 and 33 said he'll add all that other stuff to you. But you got to get it in perspective. You got to learn to use things and love people. If you would just, just get sold out for the Lord, you, you will find God providing your needs in greater abundance. You are not the resource. He is. I, I know, I know. We we got ma we got master degrees and PhDs, and we can do this. We can orate that, but nothing you can do can add one tittle to your life. God does that, but you gotta serve Him. You gotta determine to make the rest of your days focused and purposeful, and glorify God. He's the one. And look what Paul told Achippus. If you want a good example here, here he is right here, Achippus. He said, Achippus, he reminded me, Burton, Robert and Diane, and I don't know, he might call your name. Take heed. In other words, pay attention to the ministry which thou has received of the Lord. It ain't your, uh, he reminded me 10 years ago, right back there in that little back room, this is not your church, it's mine. The ministry he has called you to is not yours, it's his. And you better do the work. That's all he's trying to tell us. He says, thou should fulfill it. And if you don't know what to do, you better ask him. Ask him. Don't, don't call the pastor. Ask him. Lord, how do I handle this usher's ministry? Lord, how do I handle this deacon's ministry? Lord, how do I do this? How do I do that? You better ask him. Lord, how do I pastor this church? Better ask him. Can I get a witness here? Because my brothers and sisters, I come to let you know today. Uh-huh. That one of these old days, uh huh, God is going to call you to accountability. And then what will your excuse be that day? Can I get a witness here? Uh, I, I couldn't find my car keys. <laughs> uh huh. My, my telephone don't work. Can I get a witness here? God going to call us to accountability. What? It's going to be our excuse on that day. Because guess what? He's already recorded your life. When you go to making any excuses, I, I can see it right now. The Lord's sitting on the beamer seat. Uh -huh. He's sitting up on the beamer seat. Sitting on the beamer seat. Uh, and you standing there before him. He's sitting there on, on, the, on the beamer seat. Calling you. Calling me. Let me use myself into accountability. I come walking down. He said, next servant. And he started to ask me uh -huh, what I've done in this life. How did you handle my people? Did you love them? What about that old nasty person that, that you've been having to deal with at work? Did, did you love them? 
and then I'm going to start hemming and hawing. Brother Johnson, if I go to hemming and hawing, he going to just flat and say, he, look, that all of a sudden my life going to start flashing right off to the right. And I can stand there and look and see how, see how I've been acting or did I act properly. He either going to hound me that way or he's going to stand there and say, Burton, or whatever. Servant, job well done. Call up. <laughs> Take your seat. Take your place in my heaven. And I don't know about you. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. I'm not coming here to him and heart. God called me to do a ministry and I'm going to do it. With or without you. But long as God. long as he's happy with me yeah God are you happy with my life are you happy with the way I turned out I was on my way to hell but he reached down and pulled me back <laughs> Woo, Lord Jesus you know how happy am I see uh, I'm, I'm happy now I'm, I'm happy now I can really love my wife now yeah, I can love my children. I can love you. <laughs> I can love that old nasty co-worker. Can I get a witness here? Because I serve a mighty God. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't, I, I'm not perfect, but he is. And when I get in trouble, I can go to him in prayer. And say, Lord, for you I will die. And happy am I. Amen, somebody. Amen. And, and, and you know, last week, I'm done, but last week I reminded y'all about the last song that Otis Redding ever sang. And it was called Just One More Day. Beautiful song. He, he listen, listen to a couple of the words he said. I've been missing you for so many days. I keep wanting you, Lord, in so many ways. I can't get you off of my mind. <laughs> But true love is so hard to find. I want yet another day. Oh, I need another day. And let me tell you something. After he finished singing that song, he was killed the next day. Just one more day, Lord. Can I get a witness here? I just want you to know. We don't know when your time, you don't know when your time might be up. But do what you can for God, why you can. Do it right now. The doors of the church is open. Let us stand.